trafficking survivors have a lot of social service needs. Um, they have case management needs, which include getting together all of the things that they need to rebuild their lives, housing, food stamps, medical benefits. All of these things are very difficult to access without a social service provider uh, who is able to help people navigate systems. This is especially true when people have suffered trauma, who maybe don't speak the dominant language in the culture, or who have other obstacles. Uh, another service that licensed clinical social workers can provide is therapy. And therapy can help people to overcome the traumas that they've experienced and move on to build uh, a safe and healthy life following the experiences that they've had. As social workers, we provide direct counseling, but also things that people take for granted, like education, healthcare, housing, and navigating all these dif different resources on top of things that are more culturally relevant to them. We have to respect the self-determination of the people that we serve. And this means that a licensed social worker must, anywhere in the United States must follow the lead of the person that she's working with. To me, meeting the clients where they're at is a phrase that's often used in social work, but it's the hardest phrase to use because it means not giving them advice, not telling them what they need to hear, quote unquote. It's, it's more of what they are developing for themselves in terms of a long-term solution and not just what we or society wants for them to do. People who've experienced human trafficking have a, a lot of needs, legal needs and social service needs, and only through meeting those needs, as well as working on the policy issues that have a great effect on trafficking survivors' lives, are we able to not only meet the, the needs of people, but also contribute to a movement that will hopefully end human trafficking. <laughs>